Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KitBadge.com, out of here for part two in my 2022 tactical game series, which I guess ultimately is day one of the Phoenix, Arizona 2022 tactical games. I guess we'll start first, weigh in and check in. So you can go the day prior, I guess Friday evening, you can go down there. I didn't, I had some other obligations, flew in. So the next morning I went early. I wanna say they had check in from like 0530 to 06, where you're basically like, hey, yes, I'm here. You bring your equipment up, plate carrier gets weighed, also gun, make sure you have appropriate muzzle device, nothing that does not or does, I guess, go against rules as far as optics, things along those lines. And they're like, cool, good to go. Let's do this. So rolling right in at 06, start with the brief. After initially welcoming everyone, went straight into safety brief, med brief, and finally moved over into squatting, getting everyone broken apart into their different respective squads within their different divisions. Originally, when I first competed in the tactical games, like late 2018, there was basically elite, intermediate, and a women's division. Now there's a bunch of different divisions to include tactical, which is where I ended up competing kind of in the middle, I guess, when you look with respect to like weight and things along those lines. Easiest basically being that intermediate, most difficult being elite, and then tactical kind of right there in the middle. Other thing with tactical, at least rules as of 2022, is you could run a red dot on your pistol which is cool if you like shooting optics. But ended up getting broken into my squad and then essentially assigned our times and rolled straight into it. Went down to our first event, which I believe was technically event number three and got our briefing. Hey, this is how this works. Any questions? Nope, or there probably was some, but after that rolled straight into it I want to say first shots or first people going that first relay first heat squad at 07 so between 06 safety brief starting basically everyone got spun up broken into their squads and kicked this thing off at 07. that first event on day one for myself was i believe it's called the slog and yeah like i was like oh yeah forgot tactical games just kind of a suck fest and it was like it was work you had i don't know basically like this 90 pound hot dog filled with sand and had to do a number of things with that whether it was get it up and over this bar carry it all kinds of stuff and then ultimately rotating through on the firing line and doing your best to get some good hits Fairly close, I want to say 10, 15 yards. There was paper targets, pistol, different geometric shapes, and then down at like roughly 50 yards was a rifle target. I want to say two different shapes, one above the other, triangle, circles, something like that. And yeah, you had X amount of rounds. And it was kind of broken down to where like, hey, listen, here's your round count with respect to magazines, pistol as well as rifle and each time you get to the line, you're gonna shoot these rounds. You need to have X amount on these different pistol targets and it needs to be basically broken in half with respect to the rifle targets, however you want to do that. And so, at least I think broken in half. Could have had one rifle target, I don't remember. It's a blur at this point. But continue to make trips down to that firing line, shoot through the stage of fire, which it was actually nice comparatively to kind of the old tactical games just different positional shooting nothing crazy but working through those magazines and working through just overall that effort and here's my targets from that first event decidedly not my best work but it's what i got shooting on the strong side and largely pretty gassed out on the firing line after fortunately fairly lengthy break, we then went and had our stage brief. Again, set time on the schedule for, I guess what would be stage one, kind of the long movement. Usually, 
historically when I was doing it, and I think now still to this day, there'll be some sort of long movement where there's basically a run involved of some distance. So went over there and got that brief. For the long movement, fairly straightforward, essentially kind of front loaded with some work and some shooting. I say work like physically moving things and basically continuing to make our way to that firing line and then ultimately firing the string of fire. Again, closer pistol target for the rifle target, different geometric shapes and shooting positionally. So X amount of magazines loaded to X capacity and shoot through different ports. Every time you get to the firing line, continue to work through that. This, however, being the long stage, once you finished your shooting for that final portion of shooting, it's time to go. Stepping off, running out into nice warm desert north of Phoenix, Arizona, where it was right around 100 degrees. It was pretty unpleasant with a plate carrier and carrying your gun, but ran out there into the desert. For my own part, I was shooting suppressed, so I could have slung my gun and just cinched it down and ran with it. I opted to go ahead and hold it, not wanting to melt my can to my leg, which honestly wasn't that big of a deal. But yeah, ran out, finally came back around and finished that event. It was really hot. Also, the way the tactical games are now, and they kind of were when they started, and I think it kind of faded in and out for a little bit, but basically kind of a floater event. So some sort of event that they have now on day one as well as day two, and you just kind of do it. It's a little short standalone event, and the way it's structured now, 2022, I guess, is you have one that's largely just physical and you have one that's largely just shooting. And so you can kind of with ever or wherever rather within your window, as far as like, hey, people in these divisions come during this time, people in these divisions come during this time, up to you. And so again, you have like a good, like two to three hours usually between events, which is a good amount of recovery time. Definitely trying to stay hydrated with that. And that was a huge one for my own part. Lots of water and then lots of element, which is basically like electrolyte replacement. But I was trying to figure out where in that window, like, hey, where do I want to go do this? Because I had one more event and what I didn't want to do is wait till the very end of the day after that last event and be totally gassed. I'm like, I have a pretty good window of time here. So let's go do this. So day one, the like floater event was basically this sled pull, but there was some nuance to it. So you had a sled and you had the strap like over a shoulder so you could pull it, but then you had to be holding like in a or both hands, what amounted to like a giant sandbag essentially. I wanna say the sandbag for us, I think was like 70 pounds. And then depending on what class you were in, that determined, I think, how much weight was on your sled. I want to say we had 345s on there, so 135 pounds plus whatever the sled is. And it was set up with tape measures or yeah, whatever, a way to measure going all the way down. And there was a tree. And so idea being you had 60 seconds to work. You had to pull this sled while holding this giant sandbag and get as far as you could. If you could, all the way down around the tree and then come back. It was a lot of work. I figured I had plenty of time to rest before my final event, so let's go ahead and get this done. Went over there, I'm like, all right, I'm ready to do this. I'm like, yeah, I think I'm probably just gonna carry it in one hand, like a little bit of a game plan. And then my plan went out the window because they're like three, two, one, go. I took one or two steps forward, totally fell, ate it. And I'm like, Damn it. Got up, grabbed it in both hands and just started grinding it out as fast as I could. Ultimately getting down, actually making it around that tree and making my way back before my pace just turned into me like plotting, like just battery dying, like 
getting crushed by that thing. And finally stopped. I think I covered, if memory serves, I think 320 feet as far as like total distance moved, which it is what it is. And I guess in fairness to myself, even though I ate it straight out the gate, out of my division, I think 39 competitors in elite. I came in fifth in that one, which I think was probably my best event, even though I fell. And then I think total of like 171 competitors, I came in like 34th or something like that. So if you crash, just get up and go faster. It's basically the takeaway. Finally, rounding out day one was what technically was event two or for me personally was basically my fourth event of the day if you count that floater event and it's like damn it I saw a sandbag i hate sandbags i still remember when they're like hey guys surprise we're using these 150 pound sandbags and i want to say they did it for elite back in like 2019 or whatever and then they forgot to change weights and they had the 150 pound sandbag for a bunch of people in intermediate too. broke people off. And I mean, in fairness, like that's a significant amount of weight. This one, fortunately, was I think 125 pounds, but yeah, it's pretty heavy. And again, structured largely like a CrossFit workout. You have X amount of work to do, and then you'll switch to something else, X amount of work, switch, and pretty much worked back and forth. So working with the sandbag, ultimately getting up to firing line, doing shooting. This time, I want to say, memory serves, it's all blurring together. Basically shooting off of a VTAC barricade, which I think is good. Basically forcing you into unconventional positions if you don't train that stuff. And it was set up in such a way that you either were going to shoot off of your left shoulder, other strong side, or you were going to be really awkward trying to shoot off of your right shoulder. Worked out perfectly for me because I was shooting other strong side, period, like everything shot other strong side. And yeah, ended up shooting through that too. And here's a look at my targets from that event. Not the prettiest things. And that right there wrapped up day one of the 2022 Tactical Games down there in Phoenix, Arizona. For my own part, I was definitely pretty worn out. Pretty much ended up just going back, took a shower, much needed shower. And I was like, I'm going to go hang out in the pool. But then by the time I got out of the shower, I'm like, I'm going to just eat food and go to bed, which is basically what I ended up doing. But that right there wraps up day one of the games down there. And... Stay tuned, end up bringing you guys day two, but eh, a lot of work, but pretty good time out there. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.